They say you don't always need to plan. Sometimes you just need to breathe, trust, let go and see what happens. Well, that's exactly what I expect you to do once you see me on your TV sets. Sit back, relax and enjoy your weekly dose of what's buzzing in your city coming from this Natchez Priya. So this gorgeous location you see us shooting at today is at Garden, the Peruvian restaurant at JW Marriott Marquis Hotel, Dubai. So let's begin today's episode with you know what, yup, our question of the day. So the question today is for those who love playing video games. Well, video games kisi ko na bhi pasand ho, to bhi Super Mario ko kon nahi janta. So well, the question is, in the video game Super Mario, what is the name of the princess that Mario is constantly trying to stop Bowser from kidnapping? Well, I'm talking about gaming because in a while from now, I'm going to introduce you to someone who loves gaming and sports. So stay tuned in for that and for the answer to this question. While you think of the answer to my question, let me take you to the first story of the week which is about Food Shala, Middle East's biggest Asian food reality show. So in the last few weeks, I told you that this new season is going to start. Well, it's already here. And it's auditions auditioned recently, which was not a simple audition, but it was an audition carnival. There were performances to be enjoyed, there were prizes to be won and well, there was lots and lots of food. Let me take you there to witness some of the action yourself. So we are very happy with the response of Food Chala Season 6. The audition carnival has been a super hit. We are so happy. In the first hour itself, we've had more than 200 registrations. Okay, so the judging criteria on Food Chala is fairly simple. What is paramount is taste. That is what I am looking for. It's got to be tasty. Then we're looking at presentation as well. These days, you must have noticed when you go to restaurants, the way they present food actually determines how they can price it. So presentation is very, very important. Then we're also looking at technique. You need to know how to do things right. So these are the main three parameters that we're going to be judging people on. Hello everyone, myself is Sumita Sharma. It's my first time in Food Shala. It's very uh, good for good opportunity for uh, you know normal housewife girls and ladies. So it's good platform for us. It's my first time and I prepared dahi bada, but in the royal theme. Uh, so thanks for the Food Shala Six. It's very really good opportunity for us. Thank you. Food Shala is the Middle East's biggest reality food show and uh, it's been a journey of six years and I'm proud to be associated for the last five seasons. It's gonna be even better, it's gonna be harder, it's gonna be tougher and I'm sure you're not taking it lightly. And all our winners are doing really well in uh, whichever field they are. Some are doing their own restaurants, some are judging some good contests, so it really feels uh, proud that we have added something to their lives and it's I think a great platform for the home chefs to prove themselves. I love home food but it's time to check what you have. Here's wishing all the very best to those who have got the big golden egg at Food Shala. But for now, let's take a short break and come back for something big on the show. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Well, recently on Z Connect, we introduced you to the coolest music jockeys or MJs of Big FM. 
Well, we had super duper fun shooting the interview and I'm sure you guys also enjoyed watching it. Well, then it's time to get to know them on the next level. Because radio, just like TV, is part of our daily lives and our MJs connect with us every day. Wouldn't it be nice to know a little about their personal lives? What do they like? What do they hate? What are they passionate about? So here it is for you, a peek into the lives of our MJs at 106.2 Big FM. I'm going to make you meet someone who is a little nutty and very, very naughty. Someone who loves his sports, well, he takes a joke on him very sportingly. The bad man with a good heart. So let's meet MJ Arpit. I have no idea what that means. Bad man with a good heart. Yeah. What are you implying? Well, you have to tell us what that implies because this is what we have heard about you. Market me yahi news hai ki aap uh, upar se thode bad hai, par andar se bahut achhe. मतलब मैं बैड हूँ मतलब मैं पहली बात मैं किसी की बात नहीं मान लेता फिर मेरी अंदर की इंसानियत जाग जाती है फिर मैं किसी की बात मान लेता हूँ बैड मैन विद गुड आर्ट वॉट यू मीन एम और राइट फर्स्टली यू हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड योर जर्नी इन दुबई विथ वन ओ सिक्स पॉइंट टू बिग एफ एम एंड माशा से योर शो इज गोइंग वेरी गुड योर योर डूइंग द इवनिंग ड्राइव टाइम शो विच इज ए सैप ए एस ए पी राइट बट यू हैव स्टार्टेड योर जर्नी विथ रेडियो क्वाइट सम टाइम बैक एंड दैट वॉज इन इंडिया So tell us a little about that journey. I've been uh, actually uh, I am like I call myself like a behti hui nadi udta hua panchi. That's what I really am. I do whatever comes. So radio was one of the things that happened in Bombay and I was in Bombay for 7 years where I've done a lot of creative things starting from theater to VJing for a channel for a music channel doing travel shows, casting for ad films, acting in ad films. I've done a qu- quite a few ad films, and then there was this RJ hunt happening in Bombay where I went just to meet those guys, and those guys actually hired me. I couldn't believe it; they hired me, and I worked there for a couple of years before meeting the 106.2 Big FM bosses, and these guys hired me. Wow! And then you flew down to Dubai, and so how has it been so far? What are you liking about this place? Right now, honestly, I'm loving the weather. It is awesome. You've come at the right time, actually. Yes, so I'm loving the weather right now, and I like the city. Yar, it's easy going. Okay, so going back to like you said, you started your journey say about uh, how many years ago? Two thousand eleven, ten. Right, and then you did radio, you did TV, you did travel shows, as you said, and uh, you were a VJ on TV as well. So, mm-hmm. I mean, what do you enjoy most of all this? Do you like? I mean, do you want to? You know, probably. Some day come in a movie or something. Is is that what you were thinking when you started TV? No, honestly, yeah, I was I was a bad student in college as far as academics go. I was really bad. I was a sports admission in college. I played table tennis. I played uh, three nationals. Won my state thrice. I was a professional TT player. From there, I went into college. Left table tennis. Started doing theatre. Did a lot of theatre. Travelled here and there. Went to Lahore also to perform. This is back in 2008. when i went and from there i was just this college this one year didn't go well and then i just audition for something in a channel in bombay in delhi for bombay i audition in delhi for bombay and those guys called me here next thing i know i have a three year contract and i suddenly moved to bombay so i didn't know what was happening so jaise maine kaha ki main behta jata hu flow ka go with the flow that's what i usually do to wahan se main bombay aa gaya फिर बॉम्बे में आके मुझे लगा कि यार यही करते हैं तो मुझे एक्चुअली बोलूं आई एम टिल डेट कंफ्यूज्ड व्हाट आई वांट टू डू आई डू व्हाट एवर कम्स माय वे बिकॉज आई रियली बिलीव इन डेस्टिनी मुझे लगता है जो होना है वो होगा आई डोंट वांट टू से इट आउट लाउड व्हाट आई वांट टू डू बिकॉज इफ आई से इट आई थिंक आई आई माइट लुक स्टूपिड राइट नाउ बट बहुत सारी चीज़ें करनी है यार एंड रेडियो वॉज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स आई वॉन्टेड टू डू I all I also thought I could be a sports anchor. I all also thought I could be a VJ. I also think I'm a good actor. I think I can direct also. Many but, uh, things, but I think so far whatever you've been doing has been working out for you. मेरी माँ भी हमेशा कहती है Jack of all trades, master of none. That's what exactly I am. Jack of all trades. I've heard this about you as well that you love sports and you love games. So tell me, what what do you usually love playing? I on the PlayStation. If you ask me, it's uh, FIFA. FIFA, FIFA, hundred percent. I have uh, I've had two breakups because of FIFA because uh, I love FIFA more than my girlfriend. I've heard And, uh, this is not yeah. just about you. This I'm is sure. just about all the men who love sure. which is why even I tried my hand at it and today I'm going to play a game with you and see how good you are actually at it. Best of luck.
we'll see. <laughs> so Arpit, you're doing this show ASAP with celebrity MJ Palak Muchal. Tell us a bit about this experience. I'm sure it's very, very different. Something you've not done before, and uh, you know she's such a great singer. How is it like? Well, it's been really nice. Yeah, Palak is a really is a is a gem of a person. She she leads by like she does a lot of social work. If you've seen, she's done a lot of operations, some thousand operations she's done. So she whatever money she earns, she gives there. So it's an inspiration to work with her. Also, she's really sweet, and unki avas to aisa ki agar wo baat bhi kar rahi hoti hai, to lagta gaye rahi hai. उनको मतलब मैं ऐसे बोल दूंगा गा दो तो वो कुछ भी गा देती हैं यार एंड इट इज ब्यूटीफुल सो इट इज एब्सोल्युटली नाइस इट्स नाइस सो आई हैव गॉट दिस लिटिल रैपिड फायर फॉर यू यू हैव टू आंसर एवरी क्वेश्चन इन वेरी वेरी शॉर्ट वेरी ब्रीफ व्हिच इज अनलाइक यू आई नो बट यू कैन ट्राई सो वी आर गोना आस्क यू सम क्वेश्चंस रेडी 1 1989 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 
well, we'll be meeting the rest of the MJs in the coming weeks. But filhal ke liye, we've got lots more to share with you on the show. So don't go anywhere. We'll come back soon. Welcome back. Well, our next story is for sport lovers. With a very successful inaugural version last year, the second season of the National School League football finals took place recently. It's actually an inter-school football competition which comprises of 90 teams competing from 60 schools in the UAE. Let's go watch young footballers compete for this prestigious NSL award. This is the uh, second season of the National School League football. Um, this year we have introduced the uh, under 12 categories, uh, which is now taking its under 12, under 14 and under 16. Uh, we've had over 95 uh, school teams enter from around 60 schools. And that means we've had probably about 1400 kids participate for this year, which is uh, great for the grassroots football of the UAE. Um, and the um, sort of future of uh, school football in the region. My name is James Chanachai Aubrey and I'm from DESK, Dubai English Speaking College and I'm really thankful and cheerful to, um, for the team and for, to win this tournament and it's a great achievement to obviously win um, the NFL here and the other school obviously really good battle, 1v1s, it's, it's all about the team, one player can do amazing things but the team all together can do absolutely fantastic things. Hello, my name is Thomas and I'm, uh, I'm playing with my friends at the LFIGP uh, school. So it's been now the second years that we're playing this competition, NSL, and it's, it's a very challenging uh, competition, it's like a tournament. Uh, I would like to thank my teammates for uh, this, uh, this good play that we present today. And it, was, uh, it was a very nice match, it was very intense. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. So at one end, there is exercising of the body through cricket and football, while at the other end, some people like to exercise their mind. And they do this through poetry and music. So our final story of the week is the sixth edition of the Poetic Heart 2017 called Connecting Humanity, where we saw some of the eminent poets from across the globe come together to share their poems. Let me take you there to see what I'm talking about. This is the sixth edition of the Poetic Heart. We started out as a small uh, event, I think 
we wouldn't have more than about 200 participants and it was an effort largely supported by the members of the SGI Gulf and today we've grown into uh, a really really large uh, program we're estimating about 1200 participants we have a wonderful mix of uh, children who are coming from so many different schools as well as well-renowned poets uh, we started out with the event being funded uh, primarily from the members of the SGI Gulf but today with the help of partners like ZTV and from Emirates NBD We've been able to grow the event and improve its, uh, improve its exposure and its, its popularity. And now it's an event that uh, schools and colleges and students want to aspire to become a part of. I am a barefoot traveler on a path whose divine source of light is referred to as the most merciful and compassionate. My name is Sia Aurora and I'm 15 years old. I go to Dubai International Academy and this is my first time being here at Poetic Hearts and I can't explain how excited I'm here I'm to be here and I'm so grateful and honored to have an opportunity to perform in, at such a big platform. So um, today and tomorrow I'll be performing my song Slow Down World. This is my first original song that I released and it's come right from my heart. It's talking about everything that I, that I feel about, how I feel like the world's going back too fast. So this is my song of asking people to just slow down for a minute. Slow down world, you're moving too fast. I can catch up on being left behind. Wow, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Well, I know if I could ever write poetry, I would dedicate it to you guys. But I know there are many poets sitting out there. So for those of you who are watching this show, please send in your poems to our Facebook page or our Twitter handle. Par, and I'm going to pick the best entry and read it out to you next week. So time for me to say bye-bye. But yes, I have not forgotten our question of the day. So the question was, in the game Super Mario, what is the name of the princess that Mario is constantly trying to save from being kidnapped by Bowser? Well, the answer is Princess Peach. Just like this, I'm going to keep bringing you many more exciting questions, facts and updates. So do not forget to tune in every Saturday right here with me Priya on Z Connect Season 6.